Hello everyone and welcome to Crypto Ripto. I'm Christian and in today's video we're going to be talking about play to earn game and one in particular Ascenders. Now I'm not a gamer so I'm not going to go diving into all the gameplay etc but what I am going to do is give you a brief overview of what this game is and what it looks like it's going to do because when I looked into this game and I also like play to earns and I like people staking my NFTs to earn money on them i seen that this is based on Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is an awesome game from Nintendo. So I think the developers might be onto something here. And it is pretty much like that. It's like a human race that flies through, crash lands on a planet of aliens. And you have to start tearing around, setting up land, guilds, NFTs, doing battles, etc. All that cool stuff that's going to earn you money. Well, in this video, we're going to look at what are the native tokens, a little bit of the gameplay on screen and what the devs are saying. And also, is there momentum behind this game and is there a buzz? Well, if you want to know more about Ascenders and that cool information, stay tuned and let's get into the video. So before I ascend, no pun intended, into this video, I have to say that anything you see, hear or choose to ignore is not financial advice. No, think of me of just some clown on YouTube that's giving you education. Now, with that being said, I'm going to jump straight into the core of the information and tell you a little bit about what Ascenders is. Boom. As you can see, Ascenders is going to be a metaverse and you can see pretty much this is going to be here, the kind of gameplay that you're going to do, you're going to have open exploration where a rich open world environment filled with adventure, quests, resources and challenges. The world is big. Each area is unique. You can farm, climb, go through leaderboards or just play the meta. It's up to you. So there's a lot of opportunities in there. And these are just some screenshots, but we will see a little bit of gameplay in a second. Now, the player driven economy is you can create the economy, players develop the land, they mint the items, create the meta, and obviously they guild orgs, enabling players to create their own community. Now, if you're a play to earn game fan, you'll know about the guilds and you'll know about developing the land and stuff. Now, I know if you don't get in games early normally that land can be like through the roof expensive, but I'm led to believe that these will be giving a land away in competitions and there will be chances to sort of pick up land in battles and stuff like that along the way, which for me gives everybody a chance that hasn't got a big pocket full of dollars or Bitcoin to try and buy the it's a land straight off the bat. So that will attract a lot of players. Now in the community, you create your own rules and you'll run your own community together. Now the marketplaces, the players have their say on the governance of the game itself and it's player driven. Now this will be done and I'll explain in a minute by staking of a token and it'll be capped on how much you can stake and the people that stake them tokens will have a say in the game development and play. Now it also says this is decentralized for real and is backed by the avalanche now if you're new to play to earn gaming you will have to look up about play to earn and get yourself a crypto wallet and see how you do all the stake in the nfts etc but for now going into this there is more on the city building it says choose what you want to build on your own land refineries to improve resources boundaries to forge items and guild halls to create your community so can you imagine it's like medieval times where you've got to get your resources set up so you're self-sufficient you've got to get your forges set up so you can create all them cool nft weapons and more importantly the guild halls because if you've got a big strong community behind you you're going to do well in the game especially if you're taking on these kind of aliens and obviously buildable land is limited so choose it carefully now this will be all explained when the game launches now, ruin clearing. Now, I don't really understand this. I ain't going to lie in a great deal, but it says a scattered across the land are the ruins of the crashed spaceship, which I told you the spaceship crashes on the alien planet. And it's infested with enemies and automated defenses. You have to clear them to make the area safe and then you can settle. So you have to look at this. When you get in there, you can see the weapons, you can see bits of the spacecraft and you can see him clearing. Although I don't see what a guy with a sword is chopping grass. Obviously, didn't have lawnmowers back in the day. Now, everything you see in the game is an NFT. It's all yours, from characters, skins, to items, 
you know, the animals in there, everything is a play to earn NFT. And you can do this by the in-game marketplace, which for me is really, really cool. Now let's get on to exploring the world. These will be the different areas of the world. He says the world of Ascension is vast with many different terrains to explore. Each area has its own challenges, resources, and dangers. Because obviously you can see it's got the hot, the cold, the green, and also the fiery. So for me, it will be interesting to see how these terrains battle and what we can do when we get this game up and running. Now, also more importantly, is the team behind it. Now, if you have a look, some of the, the design director has done some ace games like Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, which was for me one of the best Grand Theft Autos. Uh, Transformers, he's got BAFTA award winning for game design, and he's come to this. And with it being based on the back of the Zelda Breath of the Wild, I can see this being absolutely phenomenal. Now you've also got the CEO and co-founder, which is obviously a qualified lawyer, serial entrepreneur and co-founder of Paramount Capital. So you can see they've got some big names behind this. Now, this will not mean a lot to you, but can you imagine a qualified lawyer putting his name to a game that was going to rug pull, a game that was going to scam? You see, it, to me, it just doesn't make sense. So for me, that's good backing that this game is here to stay and that they've pumped a lot of investment into it. They've got some of the big hitters in the industry back in this. And for me, it's got the right ingredients as long as it's all baked and put together right to be as such a successful game. Now, there is other videos on YouTube that you can go on and it will tell you a lot about the gameplay and how you can do the staking. But for me, I want to put this on your radar for more reassurance. You know, I want you to look at the hidden gems Get them on your radar before they blow up, before the land gets too expensive, before everything gets out of control as it does in the metaverse. And then hopefully you have a fighting chance to make this one of your play to earn games. Now, also, I'm just going to quickly show you what I mean by Legend of Zelda. I'm going to show you some of Zelda, a Breath of the Wild gameplay, and then I'll show you some of Ascending gameplay. And you can see why it's pretty similar and how cool it's going to be. So if we have a look at Zelda's gameplay here, you can see there's a lot of battles, there's a lot of running, action, there's a lot of, you know, kind of platformy kind of gameplay against battles. So can you imagine the coolness of this game, but you get to play and earn at the same time, as well as create your own guilds, create your own community and build and do your own resources. So for me, this is absolutely phenomenal. And I like Zelda, A Breath of the Wild anyway. It is a pretty cool game. And obviously, looking at Ascending, it is not that much different. So now jumping into Ascending's gameplay. Boom. As you can see, it's pretty similar. You've got the, the guy is running around. You've got your NFT animal with you. And there's a lot of gameplay on there. This is just a clip of him running through the world. It's so you can explore, buy, build, and also do a lot of that cool stuff. Now here it shows you a little bit of the action. Now this is zoomed a lot bigger than Zelda was, so the graphics will be a lot clearer on the thing, but you can just see how you can absolutely get involved in this. For me, this is absolutely phenomenal. Now, now you've got your native tokens, Glow Gems. This is gonna be the primary token within the game that you do a lot of your purchasing. Now also you've got the AGC token. Now this is, if you remember me mentioning a bit earlier on in the video, is gonna be the staking token where if you stake this, you get to talk about how the game is created and to a certain degree and some of the actions going in the game. Then you've got the land parcel, which is an NFT overworld area that players can own. Then you've got the game item. So you've got the land, which is gonna be an NFT. And then you've got all the in-game items, which is gonna be the skins, the weapons, the animals, and all everything else that's not under the land. So you can see there's a vast array here that you can collect. You've got the actual in-game purchasing, the staking, the buying of the land, and the in-game NFTs. And all of this, I can imagine, will be available in the market. Now, also in the game that you had me talking about was guilds. Now, these guilds are going to be enabling you to create your community, to create your army, to create a big, you know, kind of friendship or whatever you want to call it within the game to make you survive because teamwork makes the dream work as everyone says so for me 
if you can get in early and get a guild together or even be a master of the guild, you know, you can be the head, head oncho and get a team of your boys behind you or you can just literally, you know, join a guild and help them out. But this will be another exciting because I think it, you'll find teams will compete against each other and this will be absolutely awesome. And the way the game's looking up, it won't be just... Whoever got in early with the biggest man books will be able to make the best guild and all that kind of stuff. It will be whoever knows the game the best is able to get in there early and use the game to their advantage. Also in these guilds, you'll be able to create your own treasure, treasuries. You'll be able to have your own guild requirements of the membership requirements who can enter. And you'll be also be able to create your in-guild token. Now, how cool is that? So the potential for you to create an in-guild token would be absolutely phenomenal. And the people that create the most lucrative, well-organized and put together guilds will benefit the most. So for me, this is an absolute banger of a function, which will put this game ahead of a lot of the play to earn games. And this will attract a lot of the big players to it because they'll be able to literally be get rewarded for their investment making the structure of this game absolutely. So I think with that being said, I think this is definitely one to put on your radar. And for me, I will have it on my radar as well. So I hope you found this video informational. Please hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, tick that bell notification. And until then, trade smart, trade safe. <laughs>